This news highlight is brought to you by Bonnie Post Online. Home alone retiree commits suicide. A retired government servant is believed to have hanged himself from the railing of a staircase at his house in Aoyang Road, Cebu, on July the seventh. The seventy-one-year-old was said to have used a curtain and a chair to kill himself. His sister found him hanging when she delivered a mail to him at eleven thirty a.m. and immediately phoned her elder brother, who then called for the police. Mokhtar apologized for woke up Hitler tweet. Boom Mokhtar, Kinabatangan MP, apologized for a tweet praising Adolf Hitler following Germany's woke up win. Over Brazil, after Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Tun Razak rebuked him for his unacceptable statement, on July the ninth, Dato Bon Mokta Radin congratulated Germany by posting on Twitter, "Well done, bravo, long live Hitler." Najib condemned Bon Mokta's comments as unacceptable and wrong in a statement issued by his office and ordered him to withdraw them. Cleaner dies when hit by big bike. A woman cleaner was killed instantly when a big bike knocked into her while she was crossing a road around 4 p.m. on July the 10th. The deceased, who was with a woman colleague, were walking across the road to wait for a bus when the big bike allegedly hit her. The 24-year-old big bike rider. Fell from his machine and suffered grazes on his arms and legs, and sustained injury to his spinal cord. Nature hits back with vengeance. The ten million ringgit spent on dredging the confluence of Batang Rajang and Batang Igan at a point near Pulau Kerto was a total waste of money and effort. State Drainage and Irrigation Department Director Wong Xiu Hien said. The measure, which took five months from February 2012 to complete, had proven to be ineffective in mitigating flood, as the dredged area had now receded. With failure of the dredging near Pulau Kerto, Wong suggested shelving the dredging at five other areas at Tanjung Kunyit, Paradom, and Batang Igan. No raya for school bullies. Three female students. Charged with assaulting a schoolmate, broke down in tears when they were sent to Sekolah Dunas Bakti for two years of rehabilitation. Magistrate Suhario Sulaiman ordered their punishment to start with immediate effect from July the 11th. The juveniles will serve out their punishment in Malacca, Terengganu, and Miri.